Pokemon Scarlet and Violet gave us four new legendary Pokemon, and today we're going to be using arguably the weakest of them, but still a very terrifying threat in terms of Regulation E going forward, Pheasantipity, the new Poison and Fairy type Pokemon in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet the Teal Mask. Today we're going to be featuring a Tailwind team featuring an Assault Vest Pheasantipity using the ability Technician to see just how far we can push this Pokemon offensively when it has otherwise pretty underwhelming offensive stats to say the least. If you guys enjoy this content and you want to see some more like it, of course, like and subscribe for more. And with that said, let's get started with the team today. So starting off, of course, we do have none other than Pheasantipity, which is a new Poison and Fairy type Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet. With the ability Technician, we could take advantage of weaker moves like Acid Spray and Icy Wind to allow them to deal even more damage than they would have normally. And with the Terra Fairy Moonblast, we're able to have a really strong single target attack that can just deal a lot of damage in tandem with other Pokemon on the team, especially after a minus two spit F Pokemon that's in front of us. With the ability to use Heat Wave as well, we have not only a really strong spread option that can take on different Steel types that might otherwise pressure us, but also it's just a generally well boosted hit, especially when we consider Pokemon like Tornadus, which is our next spot on the team. Now, Tornadus features a rather bulky spread with the Covert Cloak and Terra Dark using Tailwind, Bleak Wind Storm, Taunt, and Sunny Day. The spread is designed so that we can take on a Dragonite E Speed, even if it's extra Champ Pao, which is a pretty common way of most Champ Pao Dragonite teams to actually try and stop the Tornadus from getting up Tailwind to begin with. And the rest of my investment, I lean heavily into special attack with the 12 speed really just being here because that's typically what these torrents run. I'm forgetting what the 12 speed F was actually for. Realistically, if you wanted, you could probably throw this into speed if you wanted to and just go with 4 speed F. But again, I just carried over the spread from regulation D, which you're going to see a lot of these spreads are just regulation D spreads. Speaking of, we do have a Fluttermane up next with a choice specs with Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Hex. Now I'm going to be completely honest, the fourth move Hex was a Definitely an oversight to say the least. This probably should have been Thunderbolt, so if you do make this team at home, I would probably recommend that. However, I didn't want to not show that I brought Hex because I kind of messed up and I forgot that I'm not running Toxic Chain on my Pheasantipity, so we ended up going with Hex today. With Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam, of course, we have strong Terra Fairy boosted hits, and especially with the Tornadus that can boost our Protosynthesis with the special attack, the specs really does help Fluttermane break everything, especially allowing us to clean with Pheasantipity in the late game. Speaking of, another Pokemon that will make this job a lot easier is our Choice Scarf Chiyu, which can take advantage of the Sun using moves with Heat Wave as well as Overheat to deal insane damage here with Beads of Ruin. Dark Pulse and Terra Blast are just really good alternate special options, with Dark Pulse being great for Pokemon like Cresselia, as well as other Pokemon that would otherwise resist her fire attacks, and Terra Blast Grasp being a great way to damage her Shifu. With our speed, we should be creeping any sort of adamant or Shivu today with the modest nature Chiyu, of course, as most Scarf or Shivu don't really run Jolly anyway right now, so this should hopefully cover any sort of Scarf or Shivu we might fight. Moving on, we do have our owner Shifu on the team with 36 HP and 4 in each of our defenses. This is because our 212 speed is meant to creep any sort of Landers T even if it is Jolly. This allows us to get a really strong Surging Strikes off into it, which is probably our best way to deal damage. We're deciding on no fighting move this game, mostly just because while it would be helpful for clearing different steals for Pheasantipity, when we have a Chiyu as well as the fact that we do have other means of just breaking most steals anyway, or Shifu will do a good job regardless with Water Stab, it wasn't really necessary here. Overall though, Urshifu really just needs to click water move and prosper. Finally on the team we do have Ruler Boom, which is carrying over mostly a regulation D spread, however I did go down to 116 attack, mostly just because of the fact that I figured we only need this to actually KO Ruler Boom with Grassy Clyde, at least that's what it was when Grassy Clyde was 60 base power, however this did end up changing to 55, so again another relic of our regulation D knowledge of Grassy Glide unfortunately, however this Ruler Boom should still do some decent damage nonetheless. The 118 speed, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know, this was just the speed creep that a couple of the Ruler Booms from World had so i ended up going with this and that's about it hopefully you guys enjoy the team and with that said let's get right into the battle good morning everyone it is undisclosed time that brain will yell at me for and we are here today with a pheasantipity wi-fi battle to start off the scarlet and violet dlc if you guys enjoy of course like and subscribe for more and with that said let's get started we're taking on my good pal dell for a best of three today because ladder is not open up yet uh well it has opened up but like it's still way too early so we're gonna be going with that uh, Dell's team consists of Torterra, Crawdon, Vikavolt, Iron Hands, Shift Tree, and Torn. So definitely a pretty interesting team for sure. Uh, in terms of my lead, I feel pretty confident actually in going for Torn. Uh, I kind of like the idea of going with like Torn Fluttermane on lead. We'll bring Pheasantipity in the back because I do think it's actually a pretty good cleaner here. Uh, with Terra Fairy especially, getting rid of our weakness to mods like Torterra, that could be kind of huge. And then I think we're going to bring Rillaboom because with Grassy Glide, that could be kind of a serious damage breaker against my opponent. Uh, between the Rillaboom and the Pheasantipity, I think we can actually get a really good late game cleaning going with this. So I'm hoping for the best. 
Fluttermoon will obviously do really good breaking early on. It also denies my opponent any sort of fake out pressure with this lead, so I feel pretty confident in that. Also, look, we got the trainer card. Uh, I'm playing on my other save file right now because this is the one I played through on it because I didn't want to burn my, my main copy of my Pheasantipity. Uh, so the Pheasantipity we're rocking out today, I'll have mentioned in the builder, but we're obviously not zero attack, though I'm doubting my opponent brings foul play, so we're good. Um, in terms of my lead here, I feel pretty confident actually in just going for taunt into my opponent. Um, I don't think that they'll really respect the play, and if they're slower than me, then that's fine. I'm gonna go for Dazzling Gleam. I'm gonna save my Terra Fairy because I do think I actually need it defensively on my Pheasantipity, especially if Terra came. Meanwhile, I don't really think that Fluttermane needs it, especially not right now. We'll just deal a lot of damage with Specs anyway. So I feel pretty confident in this. My opponent is gonna Terra. I'm curious if they're gonna Terra the Torn. Uh, they Terra the Pikeful. Okay, that's so much better for me. Uh, they're gonna be Terra Ice. Ooh, that's gonna deal a lot of damage. Terra Ice will also just give them really good coverage for Like that's, that's just really hard to switch around. Uh, they go for Protect, that's honestly fine. Thankfully, they did not go for any sort of, like, Terra Blast or something. Um, and we do Taunt the Torn this that's perfect, okay. So going for Taunt there, that already helps a lot with just denying my opponent any sort of Tailwind here. Uh, we're also just gonna get some really good damage with Fluttermane. And then on the next turn, uh, Torn will definitely die before it can get a strong attack off. Meanwhile, I can also just go for Tailwind of my own and guarantee outpace their Torn, which is actually pretty huge. Uh, making sure I can deny them with something like a Bleak Windstorm here is definitely valuable. And while I can certainly get off some- Ooh, I love the camera angles they've added. They've definitely at least spiced up the battle menu for sure. Because they definitely did not have that sort of cut before. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, just denying my opponent any sort of tailwind here will be valuable. Even if they have a move like Discharge or Thunderbolt and just power me, I'm kind of okay with that. Because Pheasantipity Rillaboom will be my main way of ending the game. So I don't really mind getting paired with one of these two. Because I, I kind of see these both as expendable. Especially when we do have the Pheasantipity with- Terra Fairy in the back, which can still deal the same sort of breaking power that we have just on a lesser scale. They're gonna go for Terra Blast Ice and Torn. Ooh, that just kills. Holy shit. I always forget how strong Vika Bolt is. This mommy is just a serious damage breaker. Uh, we're gonna go into Pheasantipity. I think we can get some solid speed control going, and obviously Heatwave support is also pretty good. And even just Acid Spraying into something that might not necessarily die could be actually kind of valuable here. Now, we will definitely need to be a bit careful because depending on what my opponent goes into, whether it's a mon like, for example, the Torterra or something, I will need to kind of play a little safe, but I could definitely make this work. They're gonna go into Torterra. Okay, this works out perfect. So I definitely need to go for an Icy Wind here, uh, and I need to I need to just prioritize damage. Icy Wind will just be valuable in case I go for Shell Smash. I can get off some high damage. I am gonna go for the Terra Fairy on Pheasantipity as well. Uh, this way, I can make sure that I'm not losing to any sort of headlong rush or high horsepower. Because I'm gonna assume without boost that Torterra will not kill. Question mark? Can we not die? That'd be pretty hopeful, actually. Um, oh my god, this looks so gorgeous with Terra. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of just hope that we don't die with Terra the headlong. I don't actually know the Kel. But I'm gonna anticipate that realistically we can kill with Icy Wind plus Gleam anyway before Tartaric gets any sort of Shell Smash up. It's more so a concern of, I guess, if I was to miss a move, but I, I kind of still need to just hit target anyway. Perfect. So, Vika Volt's obviously protected. Can we hit Torterra at least though? Can we hit Torterra? Perfect. Okay. Torterra has dropped. The Pheasantipity Fluttermane Core proves to be pretty terrifying. Uh, my opponent does have one more Pokemon left, uh, but thankfully with the with the Mons that we have on the field, it's gonna be pretty hard for them to KO. They have Iron Hands. Okay, Iron Hands is fine. I don't really mind Iron Hands because Pheasantipity can just get off a really strong Boom Blast. Um, I'll actually probably just go for Acid Spray because one just to- well, actually, I'll go for Moon Blast. I think we can just get some good damage off. And we'll go for Gleam here. And Gleam will definitely kill into the Vika Bolt. They're gonna fake out my Pheasantipity. That's fine. Fluttermane is just gonna kind of steamroll with the game. And I don't really think there's a lot my opponent can do about it, because, yeah, so Vikavolt's dead now. I think it was just an unfortunate lead. I think that I just kind of got lucky with the Torn Predict. I don't think my opponent will let me have that next game, though, so I do need to be kind of cautious of my game, too, because if I repeat with that lead, I think my opponent will definitely work around it. We're going to go for Fluttermane Gleam here and just pick off the game, though. Uh, so going into game number two, I do think I'm going to need to position a little bit more with Pheasantipity on lead, actually. Uh, I think this can gain me a lot, because I'm going to assume they're going to lead in a way to try and take advantage of my Torn Fluttermane lead. And I think that's where Pheasantipity can actually kind of shine. Uh, because realistically, any sort of mon that would benefit into that, something like a Cronop, for example, won't really benefit leading into Pheasantipity. Because I can just go for Terra Fairy and then just start nuking stuff right away. 
So we're gonna have to be careful of that for sure going to game number two, but at the same time, I feel pretty confident. Also, we didn't even really have to do anything with Rillaboom here, and Rillaboom also is a pretty strong matchup, and I could maybe even just lead off with Glide Rillaboom too. That would get me a lot of just really good early momentum going, and I could probably just stop any sort of lead my opponent wants to go for anyway. Um, there's definitely a few options I do have at the very least here, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna probably just lead off with... I feel confident in just Torn Fez and Dippity. I feel like that gets me a lot of mileage because my opponent's team is mostly special attackers. The one exception to that is the... Tw well, actually, never mind. They're not mostly special attackers, but they're mostly mons that don't like taking special hits. Things like Crawdon, for example, doesn't like taking special hits. Uh, Iron Hands does to a degree, but even still, Fez and Dippity can probably at least do some decent damage if it doesn't Terra. And we're not as weak to Iron Hands with Fez and Dippity as we would be with Fluttermane just because of the higher defenses. Uh, hmm... Yeah, so I feel confident in leading off with... I kind of want to lead off with Torn and then Pheasant Dippity. I feel like Pheasant Dippity will be a pretty decent lead this game. They led off with Vikavolt last time. I'm anticipating they switch that up to either Hands or maybe even Shiftry. Um, this will be another Mon where we match it better into Shiftry with Pheasant Dippity than we do with Fluttermane. Um, we'll bring Fluttermane in the back though, and then I think I'm going to bring Chiyu this time. Because they benched Krata last time, and even still we can maybe tear Chiyu depending on their lead. Um, they benched Crawdon and Shiftry. I think Shiftry definitely comes. Um, I could bring Rillaboom as well. Rillaboom will be decent, but they haven't really been given any reason to bring Crawdon unless it's the lead Pokemon here. So I think that I do just lead off with Pheasantipity and I bring Chiyu in the back. If they play around it, so be it. Rillaboom could still definitely be good, but I kind of want to condition them into thinking that they can bring Crawdon freely in case they didn't bring it already. Because, assuming they do go in with that mentality, I can then just bring Rillaboom King 3 and then take advantage of their Crawdon very comfortably, because it's probably my best check. Uh, Crawdon Iron Hands. Okay, perfect. So they did lead off with Crawdon, and they are already... This is already definitely a better lead for me, in my opinion, because, at the very least, it's a lot more of an aggressive lead with this. So I can actually probably just go for the... I can probably just go for the Sunny Day, right off the bat. Sunny Day will, of course, just help with weakening Crawdon Aqua Jet, which I will outpace, which is great. Uh, not only this, but I can go for... I definitely don't Terra right away, actually. I don't Terra at all. Um, but I do just go for the... I think I just go for the Crawdon, because it's more likely to not have an Assault Vest, and I can just take out Crawdon as well, which is just a high damage breaker for them. The Iron Hands is probably AV, if I had to guess, with how well it's taking a beam from Fluttermane. Um, but I'm not 100% sure. They actually Terra the Crawdon. Okay, good play, good play. They're probably just trying to do more damage with Aqua Jet early on, which I'm very okay with that. Uh, we can definitely, again, just weaken that with the sun. They're gonna fake out my torn. Ooh, okay. Well, thankfully, we're Coke Coke, so I'll more than take that. I wonder if they did that just for Chip, or if they just didn't end up seeing if I was Coke Coke. They might have just tried to do it to scout, I'm not too sure. But regardless, Pheasantipity chooses it pretty comfortably, actually. That's that's a really strong chew, especially from a Terra Water Crawdon. Um, I wonder what item's on that, because that doesn't really scream banded damage to me. Like, that's, that's a very weak Aqua Jet. Regardless though, I'm gonna go for Bleak Windstorm here, and then I think I'm gonna go for the Acid Spray into the Iron Hands. I kind of want to just drop this thing special defense. They're gonna Aqua Jet, that's perfectly fine. I can definitely play around this pretty comfortably. We still take that. We still take that very easily. Um, the Acid Spray will be huge into Iron Hands because that'll help with the Tornadus damage with Bleak Wind here. On top of the fact that I can just bring in Flutterman and just start dealing insane damage to my opponent. We've already killed the Cronaut, which is huge. So unless they targeted me with Iron Hands this turn, I can pretty safely just get a Tailwind up next turn and then go for Moonblast into whatever spot I want. Uh, I can maybe even just go for Heat Wave as well. I do have the Sun boosting me right now too. They're gonna Wild Charge into the Torn. Ooh, so that's gonna kill. But that's fine. I can just actually go into Chiyu now. And Chiyu will help a lot too with my damage output because we are rocking the Choice Scarf on Chiyu this game. So Chiyu will actually be pretty decent with Pheasantipity because Pheasantipity will be able to chew any special hit they're gonna deal at me. And thankfully, even if they do have Tailwind, my Chiyu will outpace the Iron Hands, and I can just go for Sun Boosted Heat Waves. Thanks to Pheasantipity dropping Special Defense as well, I'm not really too worried because we've not only gotten off more damage with Bleak Wind, but now, even if my opponent is AV Iron Hands, they're not taking Sid minus two. I refuse to believe that. So we're gonna go right into Chiyu here. And we do have a very free Heat Wave. Ooh, they're going into the Fight Yeah, that's a very free Heat Wave. <laughs> Um, I feel like they're gonna probably have to go for Protect, which is very fine. I'm just gonna go for the Heat Wave here, and we're gonna go for the Terra Fairy, and I'm just gonna go for- and Terra Fairy is mostly just because I can. I'm just gonna go for Moonblast and a Vika Bolt, just in the off chance uh, that they switch out, just so we can deal as much damage as possible. Uh, in the off chance they do have a check, I guess. They don't seem to really have a check here. They're probably just gonna go for Protect to try and stall a turn of Tailwind, which I'm fine with. 
Uh, I'm kind of curious if they can even do it. Well, actually, I don't. We don't have Tailwind up, so they're not trying to solo turn Tailwind. Um, even still, this is just kind of damning for my opponent at this point. Like they can't really stop the the lead combination of this, which I'm very okay with that. People are just gonna go off. Ooh, we missed Fika Bolt. So this is one of those reasons why I can just go after the Terra Fairy just to deal a little more damage with the Chiyu as well. We should be dealing some good offense to this. Uh, we're only base 70 and we're not Technician Booster with Moonblast, but this is still, yeah, it's still nearly a KO. Oh my god. That's pretty huge. That's really huge. This charge is gonna go off. Ooh, okay, don't parry, don't parry, don't parry. Okay, perfect. We didn't get parried. That's really good. I'll take that for sure. Um, my opponent's- I'm curious what my opponent's last one. Tornadus, okay. So Torrent is coming in here. That's a little- so that would be scary actually, but thankfully I do still have just the Heat Wave, and because we're Scarf we do have pace. So I'm gonna go for Heat Wave and Moonblast. We'll be able to obviously get some good damage off of the Torn with this. Torn might take the Heat Wave because we're Scarfed, even with the Sun Boost it might take it. But we'll definitely kill with the Moonblast at least in the follow-up, which is huge. And then we can just pick off Vika Volt in the following turn. Heat Wave, obviously Vika Volt's going to avoid with Protect, but how about Torn? We hit Torn at least. That's pretty good. We do kill. Okay, sweet. So, I think just for sake of, I'm going to try and get the kill with Pheasantipity next turn. Um, just because Pheasantipity, of course, started the show today. And I mean, to be fair, Pheasantipity definitely did make this game a lot easier. It was super valuable with the Asset Spray support, so we will definitely take that. We're going to want to Fluttermane here, and then I'm just going to go for a Moonblast right into Vikavolt and just claim my kill. Pheasantipity more than earned it in game number two. So we will de definitely take that. Perfect. She was going to swap, and we're going to go right into Fluttermane just for the Pheasantipity KO. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Pheasantipity getting that solid game number two wrap up for us. Uh, we do obviously reveal special attack flutter. Frankly, I'm not really too concerned. At the very least, we've already won the set, so this is kind of just because we can. Uh, also, because I feel like special attack flutter is just kind of telegraphed in this game personally. Maybe my opponent doesn't see it that way, but I feel like that. I, at least, I know for a fact that I don't really see teams like this and then think speed boosting flutter, especially with a Chiu that's so flagrantly scarfed. Uh, but again, what do I know? Regardless, though, we do have one more game of the set, though, and I feel pretty confident we could take it home. I feel really strong in the Pheasantipity. I think my opponent will try and maybe play around with the Torn and try and lead it with a lead that will just put a lot of pressure on Torn, but not necessarily lose right away to uh, Pheasantipity. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to lead off with the same lead. I feel like Pheasantipity Torn did give me a lot of options. There's not really a strong lead that my opponent has, at least to punish Pheasantipity. To punish Torn is another story, but to punish Pheasantipity, I feel pretty confident that we don't really lose that scenario. Because even if my opponent does lead off well against me, I can always just switch into Chiu, or even Fluttermane as well, because Fluttermane can just be a hard swap with the Pheasantipity spot to avoid Fake Out. So I can definitely still make that work as well. Um, I think I'm going to bring... Let's see, so we're going to go with Torn, we're going to go with Pheasantipity, I'm going to go with Fluttermane, and then I feel confident in the real room this time. So they still haven't brought Shiftry, which kind of blows my mind. Um, I could maybe go with their Shifu. Just, well, actually, no, I can't really go with their Shifu. I don't have a fighting move in this team. Um, if I had a fighting move, I'd feel really confident in their Shifu here because of the way they've piloted their team. But with only Mono Water, I can't really break the Kronon, and I get walled by Torterra, so I can't really bring that. Um, it's definitely Chiyu or Rillaboom. Rillaboom would have done really well into the team from the first game. Well, actually, no, it would have done a lot better into game two, but I mean, game one, definitely Chiyu was the better option. I feel confident in Chiyu. We're gonna bring the Chiyu. Uh, good luck in front of my opponent, though, and let's let's see what happens. I feel very confident in the team. I mean, the Pheasantipity is proving to be a monster for sure. Uh, obviously, Flutter is Flutter and Chiyu is Chiyu, but I mean, the Pheasantipity is definitely just being a really good enabler, and that's what we love to see here. Obviously, getting to show off the new Mon is always really hype. And yeah, good luck of fun to Dell. Um, let's see if he can pull through in game number three. And Sorterra. Okay, so this is definitely a lead I was pretty scared of because my opponent can just go for Fake Out right into my Pheasantipity. This does kind of mean that I need to go for the Taunt immediately into Torterra. And then I need to go for the Terra Fairy just to try and take a hit. Uh, not exactly the best position for sure, but it's one that I kind of need to make. Um, I am going to go for the Terra Fairy and I'm going to attack the hands. I feel like I just need to kill the hands. Um, if my opponent goes for Terra on either of these Pokemon, that's fine. I'm not anticipating like a Terra Fire onto a Terra. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, it's probably Terra Ground. Terra Ground would be really good to just have long rush damage, though Grass could also be a good play. Um, since Grass would obviously help with stuff like avoiding Spores and Rage Powders, and it would help lessen the weakness to Icy Wind, which my opponent has seen that I have revealed. They're gonna go for Terra onto a Terra. Okay. Uh, Terra Water. Ooh, okay. Terra Water is actually kind of scary. 
because I can't just go for Icy Wind into that for super effective. I need to go for Moonblast now, which isn't great. Uh, I do lose a little bit of momentum there. Okay, perfect. So they do fake out the Pheasantipity. At least I get the taunt off on the Terra for free though, so they didn't wild charge me. Did they go for Shell Smash? They did. Oh wait, no, that's me. Um, they did go for Shell Smash. Okay, thank God. Uh, we're gonna go for Bleak Wind here, and then I think I'm just gonna go for Moonblast into the Torterra, because I do just kind of need this one dead. Uh, if they attack Pheasantipity, that's fine. I kind of just need to target Torterra though, because I feel like Torterra is definitely their best means of winning the game. So I need to just completely stop that if possible. The hands is definitely manageable by Flutterman later on, especially since they have burned a Terra. So I'm not as scared of that. I just need Torterra gone. We've done about half. That's pretty good, actually. I'll more than take that. Just don't dodge Torterra. Oh, you're kidding. My opponent is dodging so many moves today. What the fuck? Okay, that's really bad. Rock Slide goes off. That's gonna... That's actually not as much as I thought it would be. I thought that at least you have. They're gonna take out Torn here. Um, definitely a little bit scary, I can't lie. But we can manage. We can manage for sure. Um, I am gonna just bring in the Fluttermane at this point. With the Terra Fairy Pheasantipity, I think I just go for Gleam plus the Moonblast. I'm also kind of shocked- oh wait, no, never mind, we're Technician. I was gonna say, I'm kind of shocked we haven't popped the Signature ability yet, but I forgot we're Technician for Icy Wind and Acid Spray damage. Um, which is still fine, actually, I'm very okay with that. But it just kind of surprised me was all. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for Gleam or we're gonna go for Moonblast. This should deal some serious damage. We know that Gleam obviously doesn't kill hands, it should do about half though, and Pheasantipity can definitely pick that off with Terra Fairy. I'd be very shocked if we don't actually pick that off at this point. So Gleam is going to go off. Perfect. Okay, that wears down Torterra, and the, the KO is the Torterra, obviously. The Hands, meanwhile, is in the red. Pheasantipity can definitely pick that. Uh, so I'm curious about what my opponent has in the back. Uh, something like a Shift Tree and Torn Core could be kind of scary, but thankfully with the Scarf Chew, I'm not as worried. Uh, I'd be one thing if they saved Terra for Shift Tree, that could have maybe made a difference, but because they haven't, I'm a little less worried about that core. Uh, it's still definitely something to keep in mind though, because Torn can definitely enable Shift Tree to where it could just sucker punch me, and I'd be kind of screwed, especially if it's Wind Rider. That could definitely be a really good way to pick off my Chiyu, because we're not exactly that bulky on Chiyu this game. Um, and it would also pick off Fluttermane, because I was a little bit early on tearing with my uh, with my Pheasantipity. They're gonna go into Torn, and don't be Shift Tree. Crawdon. Okay, Crawdon's a lot more manageable. It's still scarier this time, because I don't have the Sunny Day, but it's a lot more manageable for sure. We're gonna go for Gleam here, and I'm gonna go for Moonblast here. I'm gonna take out the Cronaut. I'm just gonna value targeting Cronaut, because Cronaut is definitely your scariest mon. Uh, we haven't seen an item yet. I'm curious about what the item is, actually. They're gonna go for Tailwind. Okay, Tailwind is kind of scary, depending on how fast the Cronaut is. Oh, don't be fast, don't be fast, don't be fast. Gleam does pop first. Okay, that's good. We kill the Cronaut. Okay, perfect. So, Cronaut should drop here. That's amazing for us. And then Pheasantipity should be able to just clean Moonblast, which is great. Uh, I will definitely take that. Okay, thankfully my opponent's crawl must have been really slow, uh, which I'll definitely take that. That's really good for us. The Pheasantipity ended up pulling through very much. Uh, okay, solid. Pheasantipity pulled through. Shout out to my opponent, of course. Dell's a great battler. I know, obviously, the set ended up being a 3-0, but Dell has a lot of other content where he has pulled through in far scarier situations than this one. So, obviously, if you're a fan of singles or doubles, Dell does upload both formats, so make sure to check him out. I'll link his stuff down below, as well as in the annotation at the beginning of the video when we do the team builder. If you guys enjoyed this content, of course, and you want to see some more content like this, of course, like and subscribe. We are going to be uploading daily battle spot and, well, just VGC content for Scarlet and Violet DLC, as well as, of course, we're going to be doing daily shorts to show you guys how to use the Pokemon that we're going to be featuring in today's uploads. With that said, though, of course, if you want to become a channel member, it's just a couple dollars a month, and you get some nice bonus videos, too. We're going to be doing Clefairy discussion on how to use Clefairy, and it'll be a lot more in-depth than the short-form content that we're uploading. So if you want to see that, of course, link to that is going to be down below, as well as with the join button. Our current channel members are Zeke, Mia, Timo Mueller, Sam, Plays, Obo, Johannes B, Dell, who we just played, Endless Gadgets, Bam Bambi, Ultra Player, aka Josh, and then Incog, who is our newest channel member. Of course, if you guys want to join that list of people, link to that down below as well as the join button. I will see you guys tomorrow where I think we're going to aim for Empoleon or Como. I'm not sure which yet. It kind of depends on if models are ready because if the models aren't ready for thumbnails, I'm just going to do another trio Pokemon. But with that said, I will see you guys later. Peace out, guys.